Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sharon will text Daniel from Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, phone number, claiming she wants to return the phone she just found. This plan to get Daniel and Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien, out of the penthouse will succeed since they will want to meet and grab the phone as soon as possible. According to Y and R teasers, Sharon will use this opportunity to sneak into Daniel's apartment and put the bloody towel and Heather's phone in the cabinet. When Sharon returns home, Faith Newman, Raylan Castor, will be relieved since she was concerned about her mother being out so late. Sharon will minimize things and encourage Faith to avoid contacting Lucy about Heather's death. Later, Cameron would return and compliment Sharon on her previous performance. Now, Cameron will recommend that Sharon notify the police about the evidence at Daniel's apartment without raising suspicion. When Sharon takes this next move, Cameron will believe Daniel will be apprehended and eventually punished. At Crimson Lights, Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, warns Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, to let Daniel and Lucy decide if they want memorial service assistance. Nick also does not want Phyllis to become engaged in the probe. Daniel will send Lucy upstairs to see whether Summer is there while he chats with Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd. Chance will receive updates on someone claiming to have discovered Heather's phone and wants to return it, but will be 15 minutes late. Since Chance will be formally returning to the GCPD and personally overseeing this case, he will encourage Daniel to respond with another text and offer a reward. Chance will also learn from Daniel that Heather's phone was password secured, leading him to question how someone was able to access it and text Daniel. When Summer and Phyllis come to find Chance and Daniel with their heads together, they discover there might be a fresh lead. At Society, Otter Charles, Zulika Silver, will argue with Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, about her dismissal. After Audra makes it known that this is not over, she will summon Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, and tell her what happened to Glissade. Audra will not give up on what she has fought so hard for, and she will also encourage Sally to fight for a romance with Adam Newman, Mark Grossman. Kyle will meet Claire Newman, Haley Aaron, in the cafe and boast about getting Audra kicked out of her position as co-CEO. Kyle will take Claire to the jazz bar to celebrate, but she will be perplexed by his enthusiasm for everything. Given how Jordan Colleen Zank reared her, Claire will recognize a red signal when someone enjoys the tragedy of another. Kyle will reassure Claire that it was a one-time agreement to secure his and Harrison Abbott's Reading Munsell futures, but she will remain apprehensive. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Kyle and Claire may encounter more issues in their romance than they bargained for, so stay tuned for more predictions on any potentially problematic news. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Monday, October 7, 2024 are available. In the upcoming episode, Sharon Newman, Sharon Case, is expected to plant Danny evidence. Sharon appears to be planning to frame Daniel Romilotti, Jr., Michael Grisidi, for the murder of Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom. Continue reading to learn about the upcoming episode of the CBS soap drama. According to Y and R teasers for Monday, October 7, a fisherman discovered Heather's death and called the authorities. The authorities asked Daniel to identify the deceased and now that word has spread around Geno City, Sharon is on high alert. Since Heather's death, Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, has been pressuring Sharon to kill again. Sharon does not want to kill again, and she demands. It appears that the hallucination does not persuade Sharon to kill again, but rather to perform another wicked act. According to The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Monday, October 7, the weekly preview footage reveals Sharon is planting evidence. Now that Heather's body has been discovered, a murder inquiry has commenced. Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, 
is returning to the police force and will be dedicated to uncovering Heather's murder. Meanwhile, Sharon takes the bloody towels and stores them in Daniel's flat. When the police investigate for clues, they could come across Daniel or Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien. While Sharon intends to frame Daniel for Heather's death, what about the fingerprints? Sharon keeps grabbing the bloody cloths with her bare hands. The roughness of the towels may make it tough to remove fingerprints, but how about the cabinet doors? While it may appear like Daniel is to blame at first glance, Chance is quite capable of doing his job. Chance also possesses a natural police instinct. So, even if the evidence leads in one direction, Chance is likely to find out the truth. On Monday, October 7, viewers may also witness what occurs when Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, discovers Heather's death. While Heather and Lily had a rivalry, the latter never wanted anything bad to happen to her. If the Daniel frame job fails, Sharon may target Lily to take the blame. Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, seem to be taking Heather's death particularly hard. Phyllis does not have much backing either. While Phyllis is typically in complete control, this may be too much for her to handle. Which narrative are you most looking forward to watching on Monday, October 7, 2024? Share your opinions in the comments area below. Remember to keep watching CBS or Paramount Plus to see what happens next. According to teasers from The Young and The Restless, Lion R, Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, feels she is in line to succeed Chancellor when Victor Newman, Eric Braden, acquires it. However, the moustache is taking things slowly, using Lily as a means to an end. Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, was the head of Newman Media. Then Jordan Howard, Colleen Zank, pressured her to violate her sobriety. Victor's rehabilitation plan for his wife included stopping her from returning to that post, installing Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, and promising Nikki a much better role. Thomas Scott's character was taken aback when Victor revealed his intentions. His proposal to have her restore the late Catherine Chancellor's, Jean Cooper, legacy was music to her ears, with a knowing nod to Nikki's love of playing the piano intended. There is no possibility Victor would upset his wife or jeopardize the stability she has attained by defeating her for a struggle with drink. So, after Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, is gone, she will take over as Chancellor. Nikki did well as the head of Newman Media. However, Victor prefers Adam to fill that position right now. Viewers recall Victor establishing a solo firm as a testing ground for his youngest son, that endeavor was cut short when Adam's first romance with Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, fell apart. Victor wants Adam to do what is necessary in the coming months, and he believes Nikki will oppose the immoral actions that he believes are required. So, the chancellor position is a chosen carrot Victor has crafted for the love of his life, and she definitely wants it. Victor portrayed conviction about Billy's inability to lead what he dubbed as Abbott Chancellor. But Victor now argues that Billy will be difficult to remove now that Lily believes the timing is perfect to strike. Current thinking is not a game since Billy is working on a transaction with cutting-edge technology that might transform Abbott Chancellor's fortunes. Victor called the owner of the firm Billy intended to purchase based on Lily's intimate knowledge. Some of the delays Victor requests are due to time. He also wants Billy to suffer the most severe fall and impact Jabbit. As a result, Billy has not developed into a formidable opponent. Victor is capable of cracking him. He wants to do it on a certain timeline and keep Lily for as long as possible. Lily anticipates a reciprocal benefit. She provided facts that placed Victor in a much better position. While Lily did not deal a fatal blow to Billy, she did significantly assist Victor postpone, if not block, his commercial development ambitions. If all goes according to Victor's plan, Billy will not be able to purchase the firm he desires. Victor likes Lily, but like with Audra. Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.